everybody welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how to make uh realistic looking clouds in i'm using adobe fresco but yeah i'm sure like procreate will work and stuff too so um i'm going to just start a new document just click create a new or just the suggested ones up there um i'll just do a square because that's just what i normally do um so i'm just going to choose a blue I guess you can make your sky any color um and then just bucket fill pixel layer and then make a new layer on top yes just go like that and now i'm gonna go under pixel brushes and then go under dry media and then i'm gonna select the graphite and do like a like a, a white go up all the way up to white but then just make it a little gray just like that these clouds aren't pure white okay so kind of adjust it to what size you want and now just do like little circle motions and just kind of build up the fluffiness of the cloud like that and you can do other ones too okay that's good enough um and now you're gonna see this little finger right here this is a smudge tool so I think the default is yeah the graphite um so just under dry media again graphite and then and then put it up to a size that will work and now you're just gonna go over that and just smudge it all just like kind of like the same thing you did There we go. And now you can just like shape them more because like if there's weird wisps out or whatever, just put them in. And that is the base of your cloud, but to make them really realistic looking, we're going to add shading. So add a layer on top of your layer and then see these little lines right here with the dots. These are settings, so click on that. And then we're gonna change our blend mode to multiply and go back to our pixel brush graphite the same thing and um go to yeah just a light gray and see there's like a little box with an arrow and we're going to tap that so that'll be so we can just draw on that layer so if i didn't do it i can draw all over but if i did that oops then it'll just show up on the clouds so do that and now on the bottom sides of the clouds we're just going to do that same circular motion and shade it and don't press super hard just press lightly we do like a gradual thing and it's and add shading where you want the definition like this would be sticking out more so i would put shading on on the underside of that because assuming the light is coming from straight above and two more on this i'll just speed this the video up just because um it's it, it's gonna take me a while um but feel free to just pause the video here All right, now I have all the shading for my clouds done. And if we just make that layer disappear, you see that how, yeah, you know, like how much depth it brings. All right, so now we're gonna add another layer on top of our other layers and do the same little arrow thing and go to the settings, blend mode, and set a multiply. We're gonna scroll down, oops and we're gonna do oh, uh, soft light the soft light setting now we're gonna go all the way up to white i don't know if the soft light setting makes any difference but whatever um and now we are going to add the highlights to the clouds so just wherever the shadow or like the top of the cloud obviously is gonna have a highlight 
so just wherever the light is hitting the strongest. So yeah, okay, so if you just make that disappear, it does make a difference. Um, now, we are going to go to back to our shading layer, and we're going to put our do, uh, go to our smoothing brush again, or smudging brush, and just smudge the shadows out, just to make it look a little more fluffy. We're gonna just smudge it out just like we did for the initial clouds. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing to our highlights layer. And there you have clouds. Um, and you know, I'm just going to uh, put a little uh, variation in the color on the background because I like doing that. And that's actually kind of bad. And there you have it. There's your clouds and they actually look really realistic. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and, and please subscribe for more stuff like this and stuff that is not like this at all. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.